Good morning, freedom loving Americans. So, I just came in the shop this morning, jumped on YouTube, was checking out some new videos and whatnot, and I found one that was interesting. And the title was Buzzworthy Does the Government Know What Guns You Own? But there was a couple of issues in there, and then the uh, FFL that's always on gun family, God, family and guns. Sorry, I apologize. A little dyslexia there. Maggie went and she tried to answer the question. So I'm going to clean up a couple of spots in there, maybe add a little bit to it so we can stop the conspiracy type hysteria. All right, first and foremost, on the top of your 4473, which is what this is, you all see that it has a manufacturer, a model, a serial number, a type, and a caliber. Absolutely 100% in a lot of states, that information does not go anywhere beyond the FFL. When we do your background check, they're just making sure that you are not a criminal and a prohibited person from owning a firearm. Now, having lived in California and then as an FFL in Oregon, we ran our background checks through the state of Oregon. When we did that, the Oregon State Police required make, model, serial number, caliber, and type. So Maggie was trying to explain it in the video cut. Um, you guys kind of missed the mark on that one. Don't worry. And as Maggie says, I'm sure she's going to catch some hell in the comments. But I'm going to try to help one FFL to another. Then there's uh, those of us in border states. And um, if we sell two ARs, an AR and an AK um, together, then it works just like a multiple handgun sale for us border states. We have to report on this form the report of uh, disposition or sale of multiple others. We have to uh, turn that in. And it goes to the ATF as well as your local authorities. I explained this in the comments once before in another one of uh, his videos. This doesn't go to your local sheriff and then the ATF comes and gets it. We send it directly to the ATF. An additional courtesy copy goes to local law enforcement. I'm not going to say what they do or don't do with it. Every jurisdiction, every law enforcement agency is different. But make, model, serial number, type, caliber goes on there. We've all seen this one. And this was the subject of another video that was done by God, Family, and Guns. The report of multiple handgun sales. Once again, the buyer, along with manufacturer, type, caliber, serial number when you buy two or more in five days, five business days for that shop. So this gets everybody worked up rather than feeding a fire or trying to put one out. Just know that there are some states that don't run a federally run background check through the NICS department. They are run through the state. Um, California is the Department of Justice. For Oregon, it's the Oregon State Police. Other states, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. And this is not a hit piece. I just noticed when I was watching the video that Maggie started to explain, well, in some states, and then the video cuts, and they jumped right over that little piece of information right there for those states. Um, that's all I got. It, and this is not to be a hit piece. I'm going to say it one more time. Not a hit piece. This is not to light Maggie on fire in her shop. It's just that I noticed that little piece was missing. Um, I just wanted to add that in there because a lot of FFLs are misunderstood because unfortunately people will see a video maybe where there's a cut piece of information for them and then they go and they tell their friends something and unfortunately they just didn't have the information. I'm going to say it one more time. Knowledge is power. If you have a question, go in and ask your local FFL. I can't speak for everybody, but if you come into my shop in Lake Havasu City, Arizona, and you have a question, I'm going to go to the actual ATF websites and I'm going to look at the rules and I'm going to, if need be, I'll print them out for you. The best way that everybody can stay sane and be appropriate and not get in trouble is to follow the law. And yes, she is 100% correct. If you report a gun stolen, then you are actually telling them what you own, but you have to do that so it can be recovered or in a big one, so that your FFL that sold you the firearm and did your background check a year from now doesn't get what's called a trace call. Now, the police have found, or law enforcement, or whoever you want to say, has found your firearm at a crime scene or at a questionable area, and they have possession of that gun. 
they go to the manufacturer, the manufacturer goes to the wholesaler, the wholesaler comes to the dealer, and then we have to give that information over. But if you don't report your gun stolen, you you can end up having to explain yourself how your gun ended up in the hands of a criminal. And that's just bad. So as far as the registry, I don't know. I'm 100% with her. The only records I'm aware of is when we go out of business or if an FFL moves from one state to another, personal experience, your FFL number don't denotes what state you're in. So when you move to another state and you apply all of your out-of-state records, go to the out-of-business records center. They reissue your FFL after they come see you and do your initial and everything. And you start your book over again because your FFL number changes. So that's all I got today. Everybody stay safe. Stay sane. If you have questions, by all means, ask them. If you go to... If you go into the comment, sec comment section and look under um, the channel heading, you can actually get an email for your channels that you're watching. If you have a question, I will be more than happy to try to answer it. It's usually harder through email. But you can also Google the shops and the different places you see on the Internet, and you can call and ask. Or if you happen to be in Lake Havasu City, Arizona, stop in and see me. Grab a Jocko, go, have a seat at this bench right here. There's a couple stools on the other side. Have a seat, ask your questions. I'll never laugh at you because your question is probably somebody else's question. And if I can find the answer for you that I don't know, then I have the answer for somebody else. Everybody stay safe. Stay American. That's it.